prison cell with two beds. A man, debonair and shrewd, enters in an expensive Italian suit. This is Paul. We hear a guard over a tinny speaker. Change. (laughs) Paul carefully removes his suit and puts on an orange jumpsuit. He sits down. Then a second man, rumpled and bewildered, enters. This is Mike. Change. Mike doesn't move. Then he looks from side to side, confused. Me? (laughs) Yes, you. Paul rolls his eyes. Moron. (laughs) Okay, 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 okay. Mike removes his suit and lets it drop to the floor. He gets in the jumpsuit, but struggles with one leg, hopping on one foot. (laughs) She should come with instructions, huh? (laughs) Mike lets out a loud sigh and sits opposite Paul. The two men stare at each other. I'm going to try to get some rest. I hear that. You hear what? You're tired, I relate. Paul lies down on his bed, staring at the ceiling. Mike, meanwhile, twiddles his thumbs, stretches, can't sit still. Hey, Paul. What's up, Mike? Did I ever tell you by the time I met Billy Joel? This is maybe our third occasion ever speaking. So did I? No, you haven't told me about meeting Billy fucking Joel. All right, I I can see you're not in the mood. I'll save it for another day, you know. Mike, I I don't mean to be rude. Well, I got some bad news. (laughs) To be honest, right now, I just need some time to think. Oh, well, think, think, think. I mean, uh, I'm going to be just like Paul Ryan, shockingly silent. A montage shows the passage of time. Hey, Paul, what's an ostrich coat feel like? Is it comfortable? Hey, Paul, did your lawyer ever ask you for your wife's phone number? Is that weird? Hey, Paul, remind me to tell you about this story. It's about Billy Joel. Taxi medallions good or lose. And then, boom, Uber out of fucking nowhere. Have you ever seen an ostrich egg? They're huge. They're huge in their eggs. Can I be honest, Paul? Pence creeps me out. He's got a weird vibe. (laughs) Hey, Paul, I've been meaning to ask you, what's Ukraine like? Six months later. Oh, can you believe it? It's It's already already been been six six months. months. (laughs) Hey, Paul, listen. uh, I can't remember. Did I ever tell you about the time I met Billy Joel? (laughs) No, you haven't. And you know what, Mike? Let's hear it. Yes, okay. So we're at the tower, and we're supposed to be meeting about a payment to... You know what? It doesn't matter who. (laughs) Forget that part, the payment part. Anyway, it's just important. Anyway, I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and the phone rings, and it's the boss man. He tells me, come up to the office, and I think, okay, finally, the meeting about this... (laughs) So I walk into the office. It's this, you know, big, beautiful room. It's gold, and, and there he is. But who's standing right next to him? Billy frickin' Joel, the piano man himself. And then the big guy goes, Billy, this is my lawyer, Mike. He's a real Long Island bumpkin. Look at him. Can't you tell? Huge fan of yours. It's all true. It's all true. And I shake Billy Joel's hand, and we take an awesome picture, and it hangs on my wall to this very day. And? And what? That's it. That's it. You shook his hand and took a picture. Oh, he was so nice. Uptown girl, the best. (laughs) Mike, you moron. Forget prison. I'm amazed how long you've managed to function in the world without cutting your dick off or falling down a fucking well. (laughs) You insult me and insult me. If you're so much better than me, then how are we in the exact same spot? Bad luck. Impossibly bad luck. You know what, Paul? Fuck you. You kiss Billy Joel with that mouth? My whole life, guys like you have been looking down on guys like me. Yeah, because you're worthless, you little shyster. You are a fucking pet. His little Jewish poodle. A joodle! Your taxi scams and your yes sir, no sir, Mr. Boss Man. You think you're so slick. With your Hermes ties. Check out the mastermind. Russia's so far up your ass you shit Romanovs. 
You know nothing. The money I was moving around, the operation, the scale of it. You're chasing ambulances. I overthrow countries, and I protected myself. They even scratched the surface. This prison shit will end, but I'll continue. And the time I spent in here with you, you Mineola Hicksville fucking goon, will be a story I tell about some moron who shook Billy Joel's hand. Got it. Good. My I got it. We got it. <laughs> a moron who shook Billy Joel's hand and just got a confession out of you, fuck nuts. What, what are you talking about? You confessed. I recorded it. Go Mets, bitch. I'm out of here. <laughs> you asshole. Good riddance. At least I'll have some peace and quiet. All right, let me out of the cell, please. Well, you have to go before the judge first. But it's Saturday. On Monday. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the end. <laughs> guys, give it up for Andy Richter and Max Silvestri. Thank you guys for doing this.